so I'm gonna do the mixing of the butter and the sugar that I already previously started um, mixing together so here I'm just gonna do a little demonstration of how I um, mix my butter and sugar together to get that banana bread um, going So as you could see here, I just um, whiz around and I um, ensure that the butter and the sugar mix together. It's brown sugar and that creamy um, butter. And here I already have my banana squashed. I have three ripe bananas that I already squashed together. And I just kind of pounded them there with the um, potato pounder. <laughs> Oh, well sorry guys but um this is just to show you the consistency of the um banana that you would want to get so now we're gonna add the vanilla extract and um, we also have the flour to decide it's all-purpose flour you could use anyone I also doing three eggs because I'm making two small banana breads so I'm going to just go right ahead and add these eggs into the mix. So as you see, I'm cracking it on the um, side of the bowl and I'm just going to crack them open and add them to that um, banana mix. I know I'm moving a bit slow guys but just bear with me it's my first time making banana bread so now I'm gonna kind of just try to pound that together and mix it up a bit and um, get everything together there and then I will go right ahead and use the um, the cake mixer to get everything together So you don't need to wash the whiz off because I mean everything going together. So we're going to just get that into the mixer with the eggs and the, man the squash banana, sorry. And we're going to just give that a couple little whiz and get everything together. So we're going to mix that around, ensure that everything combines. So I'm just going to bring it a little closer so you guys could um, get a view of how I do it. And well, if you don't have a cake mixer, you could always use a um, what's that thing called? You could use a fork or you could use the um, whisk. So here I'm just gonna go around, make sure everything comes together, and yeah. So now I'm gonna add the vanilla extract that I was talking about earlier. I'm just trying a little dab, you know, us Trinidadians, we don't really um, measure stuff, we kind of just used to what we think is the best so what i'm gonna do I is add cinnamon great because i love this cinnamon, cinnamon stick so i'm gonna just grate this cinnamon um over over the pan there and ensure that i have enough cinnamon to my liking you could use cinnamon to your liking but this is what i'm gonna do grate away You all know I have to speed it up a little bit because that's a lot of grating. So I'm just going to show you how much cinnamon I have in there. And now I'm going to give this a little whisk. Yeah. That cinnamon and that vanilla extract in there. So now we're going to add our so butter and sugar to the mix. The and, the and we're we also going to put... Um, some almond milk in that some almond milk so i'm just gonna get that in there i'm gonna just ensure that i get all the butter and the um sugar that i was earlier on into that mixture of the eggs and um the banana to get that kind of cakey um butter so now i'm gonna add like about two or three um teaspoons of almond milk i just use the 
cork as the example and I'm gonna just whiz it together so it's whiz 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 away <laughs> sorry guys I get excited so we're just gonna ensure that everything get together so now we're gonna add about a tablespoon of of baking soda And now we add now we're gonna add in our all-purpose flour to the mix I'm just adding one of this small bowl which is probably equivalent to two and a half cups of flour um, two small cups at least you could use um, according to how much banana bread you're gonna make and I'm just gonna whisk that away so as you could see the um, consistency is kind of still tick so um, we're gonna have to probably add in a little bit more of the um, almond milk later on to get that consistency if it's too thick you could always add a little more almond milk to that or almond extract to so give it the right consistency you need continue um mixing that together and um things get a bit messy but that's okay now i'm gonna just um give a little taste make sure it's for me. i want to add a little more cinnamon to mine because i like that cinnamon flavor so i'm gonna just grate some more cinnamon And if you have chocolate chunks, you could always add your chocolate chunks to yours. Or if you like nuts, you could add nuts to yours. So it's ready. And I already had my oven preheated on 350 and when we come back we would put this to the pans and get it to the oven okay so so these are our two pans and what we're gonna do is spray them with the olive oil um, no stick spray and now we're gonna add we're gonna add it to our pans and just basically scoop it out in that pan so you want to fill the pan up at least halfway so we try to get a smooth top of your banana bread. So you want to get as smooth as possible. And as level as possible. So this is what I'm doing. It's one down. And I see that I'm not doing two, so I'm just going to put the other side in there. And you want to be sure to get everything out of that pan. As you can see, I am literally like creeping that pan. 
sure you have all that, but I just want to make sure I don't need any factor in there. Get all out as much as possible. And now we're just going to smooth on the top and um, try to clean around the edges. So we're gonna just set these into the oven. oven. And as I said earlier, I have it pre it has already been preheated to 350. And, and click start. And set our timer for 20 minutes. Inside of the oven. And check in every five minutes. So I decided to add some granola to the top of mine, and I'm just gonna. So as you can see, things are coming along pretty nicely. I'm just gonna wait for it to get that caramelized color to the top, and I'll show you when it's finished. So here, my banana bread is finished, and this is the final product of my banana bread. I am so excited! I love how it came out, and I'm just giving you a little demo on the final finish. So I just went ahead and I just sliced it up and trust me guys it smells great it tasted great and yeah this is the end of my my tutorial